Alicia, your host of Celebrity Profile Entertainment. I'm here at El Mariachi Mexican Restaurant in Sherman Oaks for the wrap party of the third season of Family Time. It was a night of fun and laughter as the stars of Bounce TV's hit series Family Time took the red carpet. Everyone from production to the cast and crew attended the party. Congratulations on your third season of thank Family you, thank Time. You. Thank you, thank How you. How are you feeling? Appreciate it. It's been really good, really good. Had an excellent season, man. Ten more episodes. Very funny. Lovely, wonderful cast. Uh, beautiful uh, guest stars. Everybody was very professional. Made my job a lot easier. A lot easier. Uh, we had from Salt and Pepper. We took a blast from the past. We had Mark Curry uh, from when we did Hang with Mr. Cooper together. Uh, Jason Weaver, Smart Guy Days. Um, Rodney Perry came back. Uh, all of the family members from the first uh, two seasons came back. Um, oh man, just just blessed, really blessed. Yeah, that's a great feeling, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so when you landed this role as a father of Family Time, how did you get that opportunity? Uh, well, I worked with Bentley on Love That Girl. So I came in and did a guest spot for him, and he said, man, I got another script I think you'd be perfect for. And when I read it, I was like, I agree. Um, it was one of those... It's one of those things where it was just a perfect fit. I was like, brother, did you write this for me? You know, because all of the liming, we have this timing. We have the same type of wit, you know, so none of the jokes had to be explained, you know what I mean? Plus it was that old throwback to sitcoms that I grew up uh, not only watching but being a part of, so I was happy to kind of revitalize that. And what is family time for you in your personal life? Uh, with me, it's a lot of laughs. I got the funniest family in the world as far as, uh, like, my sister's a stand-up comic. Uh, my brother is hilarious. Like a lot of people don't know, he's doing, um, we actually got a chance to work together for the first time this year on a show called Big Time in Hollywood, Florida. And watching him do his ad-libs and outtakes, I was like, oh, okay, it definitely runs in the family. So you don't get to see that side of him a lot. But he's hysterical. My dad's a riot. My mom's a nut. I mean, it's, 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 we all work so much and we're blessed to, uh, to stay busy that we only, we get together, I say mostly holidays, you know what I'm saying? But it's like a lot of food and a lot of good good laughs and good times and reminiscing and catching up, you know what I mean? So that, those are real important to us. Do you have any kids of your own? No kids, no kids. Just one dog, one dog. Do you want kids one day? Absolutely, absolutely. So how is it playing the role of a father? Who do you kind of channel? Uh, a little bit of my, both of my parents, you know. Uh, my mom's very spiritual. My dad's, uh, He's coming around, you know, but he's more the entertainer and stuff, so I, I find myself kind of goofing around and being that lovable, fun-loving type of dad on set, while at the same time, uh, we try to tackle issues that are current. We try to show people how to deal with uh, issues that are like our issues, if you know what I mean, our way, you know what I mean, and, and show them in a different light, not so, not so much of this negative these negative stereotypes that we get, you know, because we're, I grew up watching Cosby Show, you know, positive, black, successful parents raising kids without having to be all, you know, crazy and wild and these negative stereotypes that we see all the time nowadays. I definitely think you're a great actor and I really Thank enjoy you. watching you on TV. Thank you so much. Thank you <laughs> Thank so much. Thank you for your time. Not a problem. I'm here with Angel Conwell, the star of Family Time. You're looking really hot tonight, Angel. Take a look at her outfit. She's working that bodysuit. I guess it's a cat suit. A couple people said it's a cat suit, so I'm like, yeah, I guess it's a little lace. Every now and then you gotta do the little sexy thing, or at least try. Give it a shot. You did it. <laughs> Thank you. So congratulations on the third season. Thank you. I'm so excited. I love this show. I really love everybody involved. Bentley Kyle Evans, if you don't know him, he executive produced, created shows like Martin, the Jamie Foxx show. We're just really, really blessed. It's just a good, it's just good vibes all around. That is definitely a blessing. So how do you feel about reuniting with Omar Gooding? Because you guys were in the movie Baby Boy together. I, I'm like really Really, God, God has a sense of humor. It couldn't be more perfect, honestly. Um, we just have great chemistry. We have a great friendship. Um, we kept in touch throughout since we did Baby Boy, which was in 2001, and we've been best, like, really good friends ever since. So it, it really couldn't have worked out 
more any more perfect. Do you ever just sit back and look at your career from the time you started out as a young girl and where you are now? Um, not much, but I mean, I definitely do because you know we have to we have to see things and, and get perspective on where we want to go and make sure we're on the right path. But um, I, lately I have, and I've been very very grateful for the maturity. You know, I feel like I've been evolving. The natural process of evolution, like we all do, we all evolve. And as I look at my work, it's I'm, I'm doing things that I'm a part of shows and films that I can actually be proud of, which is a big deal to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to still be in the game. <laughs> and then you're also on The Young and the Restless. Yes, yes, yes. I play a lawyer, Leslie, on The Young and the Restless. So and you've been on there for since about, 2011. So or maybe 10. It's been a minute. That's a long time. Yeah. How are you able to toggle back and forth between Family Time and The Young well, and the Restless? Time it works because I wasn't filming The Young and the Restless while I, while I've been filming Family Time. But there's been times where it, it's tough. But you know what? It's all passionate. It's all passion and love. When you really love something, you don't even think about sleep until you actually get to sleep, and then you're like, I. Have have not slept. I'm about to pass out. But I mean, it's just because I love what I do so much. I, I don't think about it. I just I take it day, one day at a time. I'm here with the man of the hour, Mr. Bentley Evans. Congratulations on your third season of Family Time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. It's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for us to come together and celebrate while watching a little bit of NBA at the same time and DJs and people and celebrities. It's, it's what it is. And what team are you going for? Um, you know what? I, I, I'm going to go with the best and stay with the West. That's, uh, you know, Golden State Golden State Warriors. I got to go with them. Uh, I'm, born in, I'm born in Oakland, so I'm, uh, you know, I got to go with my, my, my home team. You have the height. Did you play a little basketball back in the day? No, played a little basketball, and then I realized how bad I was at it. And I realized how bad I was at basketball and realized that, um, you know, if I'm going to do, if I'm gonna, uh, do something, I need to put my uh, my skills toward the pen and the paper because basketball is not going to do it for me. So let's talk about family time. Let's talk about um, it. What type of message are you trying to send with this television show as far as the family dynamic? Well, you know, family time is very important because I wanted to create a show where kids could sit down with their parents and watch, uh, you know, good wholesome entertainment. I mean, we go a little bit to the edge, but not, not, not very far. I mean, you have to in today's climate. But for the most part, I just wanted to be able to create a show that, you know, it speaks to the African-American experience for the new audience that's watching. So it's like where, you know, Cosby did his thing in the, in the 80s, and there's been so many family dynamics that come to come up. <laughs> it's so loud to come uh, across in the, in the past uh, few decades, but this is the one that I feel represents, you know, what that black experience is today. Congratulations, Shayla, on your third season of Family Time. Thank you. You're welcome. So tell me, how did you feel when you first found out that you were going to be cast on this series? Well, I felt very excited because, you know, I didn't have an audition for it. They called me in to be the role of Ebony Star Wars, so I was really, like, excited and just ecstatic, you know, so yeah. And you had a part on Love That Girl, right? I did. I had a co-star role, and it was really fun cause to react because I, I said a few cuss words and, like, it was kind of fun for me because, like, not saying that I will ever say those kind of words or ever act that kind of way, but I knew in my myself that I knew how to do it, so just kind of like. <laughs> Who are some people that you have grown up watching and looked up to as far as actors? Um, as far as actors, like singers and all that other stuff. Yeah, like when you watch television shows, like you kind of looked at and said, "Oh, I hope when I." Get and do get my first role. You kind of embody what they do. Yeah. Well, I love um, Jennifer, Jennifer Hudson, Jennifer Hudson, Beyonce, all of them. Um, Ariana Grande. Um, I can name a lot. Like any old Raven timers. Simone. I was just about Raven to say Simone. Raven Simone because she started at a very yeah, young Raven age Simone. and yeah. been acting forever. Yeah, yeah. Raven Simone. A lot of them I can't really think of right now, but a lot, a lot. Yeah. Now I hear you have a company that you're starting with your brothers. Can you tell us about yeah, that? Yeah, it's called Boss Crew Kids, and um, we have that, and we're starting that with our shirts and our hats 
and uh, we're going to make in-ear stuff, and we have bags, and then we have a YHH, YHH, it's a new organization, it's for the homeless, so we're going to give away, like, stuff and clothes and food, and we're going to have, like, video stuff posted on our website and everything, so it's an organization for the homeless, and we're going to give away back to the homeless, and we're going to be, like, you know, it's not always about us, it's about other people, like, we're really lucky to be here, and stuff like that. That's very commendable. Good seeing you tonight, Shanti. Oh, it's good to be here. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Now, I remember you on the game, like you played a feisty character, you weren't anything nice on there. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Now, how do you feel about playing a variety of different characters? I love it, and I love that Bentley gave me the opportunity to play just the fun, silly, kind-hearted neighbor. It's, it's very different, as you said, and it's just a lot of fun. She's just like a barrel of of goodwill, but she kind of, you know, crashes everything, and, and that's kind of fun to play. How'd you find your way on family time? Um, you know, <laughs> I don't know if this is good or bad, but it wasn't very hard, because uh, Bentley is such a great writer that it's all on the page, and you just kind of go, okay, I see this character, I know this character, and you just jump in. And uh, we shoot really quickly as well, so you don't have time to second guess. You just, you just do it. And were you handpicked or did you have to audition? Um, I, I was picked for this role because I've worked with Bentley in the past on Love That Girl and um, something else. Uh, but it was a little scary to be picked for the role and not audition because you feel like you don't know exactly what they wanted. If you audition and you get the job, it's like, oh, they liked what you did, that's what you should do. And uh, showing up on set and not knowing you know, if they like your version of this character is a little intimidating. But um, as I said, Bentley's so great to work with that he just, he makes you, he and everyone, the whole crew makes you feel so comfortable that it's easy to do your best, I think. That's one thing I'm noticing about Bentley. It seems like if you work with him, uh, you make an impression on him and he remembers you. Yeah, I would say that's true. Yeah, I auditioned for him one time for, um, oh, for Love That Girl and, you know, everything after that was like we were we were pals we were friends and I didn't even get the job when I auditioned for him but um, as you said he remembers that's awesome so it's good to see you tonight Alex how's everything everything is great how's everything with you I am having a ball I mean I just walked in a championship game is on about to enjoy some food but I'm here to support family time uh, Bentley Evans is a great friend of mine all the way going back to the Martin days and the Jamie Foxx show days and I just did uh, a guest role on the show last week, so it was really fun. So I'm excited. I know it's going to be funny. Now, what was the experience like on the set of the show? Oh, it was great. No, when I say family time, I truly mean like it felt like it was a family reunion. I knew everybody from the actors to the craft services down to the grips to the hair and makeup. It's like I knew everybody on the show. It's Hollywood is very small. Black Hollywood, I like to say, is two blocks. You know what I mean? So we all know each other. You know what I mean? So. It was great. It was, it, it was fun. The episode I'm on is going to be hysterical. So you got to watch Bounce TV. You got to watch Family Time. Alex Thomas and my role, uh, the guy's name is Ted. And I am a, all I can say is, I'm, a, uh, I'm above the law, FBI, above the FBI, but I'm also a swinger on the side so yes Hi, Dannon how are you doing tonight I'm fine young lady how are you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful thanks good, for good, asking good, good good so how was your time on family time when you were on the show my time was great I had a great uh, episode I had a great uh, scenes it was great it was a wonderful time yeah so what do you think about Bentley and the new show what he's doing uh, Bentley's the man uh, I've known Bentley for a while though so I'm just proud that he was able to get the show produced get it on television and um, Omar Gooding was looked out for me and it was great. Yeah. What projects do you currently have? Uh, I have a film uh, option deal right now. I got a number of commercials out and I just shot, finished three movies. One of my movies I'm in was with, with Omar. We just shot a movie called The Hills in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. So we good.